My name's Laurie Cox. My role at Life Without Barriers is a disability support leader. So I've worked for Life Without Barriers for five years now and in the last year and a half I've been in the DSL role. So I've come from a rewarding time in people's lives and I know it's cliche and everybody says, you know, disability support is very rewarding. For a few years my husband and I were part of our local BMX team at the local club and um, we saw a lot of diverse children come through and I knew that that was meant for me. I guess having a look at my emails and what I've got to do for the start of the day to come through, coming in, checking in with the guys and the participants and making sure that we've got everything ready to roll for the day. As my role as a support leader, obviously making sure that we're you know, following procedures and policies and compliance. I love to see how we've started with the participants and help them get through their goals. And, you know, they might have had a goal to start hydrotherapy and we've gone through all that process to finally get them there and just the elation on their face to see um, that they're loving it. And, you know, we've gone from not being able to do it to now we're coming in that we've been doing it successfully and we're picking up more days and the confidence that that participant has got is it's overwhelming to see them flourish. A great one was about the hydrotherapy. That took us nearly a year and a half to get that on board through clinicians coming out and doing assessments and stuff like that. And then the guardians were all for it and getting them through and starting that training for the staff. And, and then now those staff are helping train with the allied health services, new staff that are coming on. So, you know, that's really empowering to, to see that. The key is listening, taking in hearing the people and taking on feedback for them. So you can let them know that they're being heard and that you're trying to work with them to help the participant, you know, reach those goals and maximize the strengths that they've got without de-skilling the participants. We want to enhance and help them to build those relationships and, and know that we're there and we're supporting them as well as their, their loved one. I guess part of being in the disability support lead part is having that team nurturing them, encouraging them and trying to get them to understand the processes that we do and getting them on board with helping for it. Obviously too, taking their feedback to try and help, you know, build that team uh, rapport up and also to taking on the feedback from others helps you to really support the participants to the best that we can. In terms of for the teamwork and getting them on with relationships and stuff like that, I'd like to say we all have a great bond with each other. Everybody in the house is, they've got a strong bond and connection with each other. They do build those great relationships together. And as part of the disability support leads, we really try and connect with the staff and check in with them and make sure everything's okay. And there's lots of people to help support and flourish those relationships that we have. So at Life Without Barriers, we have a few great things for staff to take on. Obviously, our Converge is really great uh, asset to our staff. They do a few different parts of the umbrella for us. So it's not just seeking advice for yourself. Your family can actually, close-knit, can use those options as well. With the EAP line, if you need support psychologically, there's advice for legal, advice for financial there's also health advice on there as well for dietitians and stuff like that. So there are a few different things that we've got that help support our uh, workers. And then we have Max here as well. So we have a great team that go through the different options with you that you can do for your salary sacrificing as well. So at Life Without Barriers, we have a great My Learning team. So we have a catalogue of training that we can sit down and work our way through. That also can help with the theory side of learning the practical skills that you'll learn on the job, on the site, with the participants seeing those high care needs for them for their everyday living. I guess when I first started at Life Without Barriers, a friend had worked in the same industry and said, you know, take as much as you can and really broaden your horizon on different participants and learn and it, you flourish that way so it also broadens your skill base and it's a different day every day seeing the participants and having them you know pop into my office and having a, a, their own little chat and their smiles and you know giggles and stuff like that to you know knowing that the team that I work very closely and wouldn't be here without them to see and have that engagement with them and then obviously to on my fellow colleagues I value them and the input that they bring to the team they're very inspiring about enhancing and promoting you know the the quality and what we can and what we should be doing within our team for our participants.